understand how good they can be. They're a 7-2 team, which is the best winning start in school history. We are underway. Delay done. It's time to get things rolling here from Knoxville. Orston immediately from the free throw line off the mark. And the Knights possess it, their first possession of the ball game. Here's the starting five that Coach Messer will roll with. A little bit of a different change. Taylor Gibson, the sophomore forward, making her second start of the year. And that's exactly what Coach Messer wants them to do is be aggressive offensively. She said her team is going to have to do that tonight to win this game. Head coach Kelly Harper goes with the same five she went with on Sunday in the win over Wright State. Coach Harper has experimented with a lot of different looks, six different starting lineups, but she keeps consistency today. Offensive board, Ranky Horston denies her. The ball skitters out of play. Ranky baseline going up strong. Jordan Walker starting point guard for Tennessee, making her second start in a row. Horston off a nice drive, easy little finish for two. Horston. Players have missed games here and there along the way. Have done a great job of, with getting better. Tess Darby unloads for deep, that's off the front iron. Layla Jewett quickly up the court, going up with Walker, down goes Walker. Best on the team in terms of that category, that's that veteran experience. Both teams still looking to get settled in offensively. Nice little backdoor cut for Horson. She's got all six for Tennessee here in the first. Triple in the sophomore forward, making yet another start. Last three games for Tennessee, a nice little step back jumper. First 20 minutes, thought they weren't communicating as well. Telegraphing some of the plays. Wants to see maybe a full 40 of defensive intensity tonight. Three right wing from Jewett, she's got it. Knocks it down, first three-pointer for either team tonight. Other way, Jasmine Powell and she finds Suarez. Tennessee wants another try from distance, no good. Holling shed off, it's a rebound. Pivot, up strong, no. Another second chance try and Suarez will go to the line. Kelly Harper said this may be the first team they face this season that might have the advantage lengthwise on them. Women's Basketball Hall of Fame, just a few paces to the east here from Thompson Bowling Arena. Always gives visiting teams a good chance to go through and look at some of the history, some of the former coaches they've seen. Good moment before coming back into this building. And one play there, Jasmine Franklin. She's one of those players that stepped up on Sunday. Definitely. Tennessee is going to rely on her, especially with the absence of Tamari Key, to really anchor their defense and contribute offensively. Franklin, a graduate transfer from Missouri State, where head coach Kelly and John Harper coach. They recruited Franklin. What a full cir circle moment for her. <laughs> well, to rejoin with Coach Harper, good moment. And on the big stage here, Hollingshed says no. Using her length to block her shot. She, now she can really be a huge anchor for Tennessee defensively. I'll show the 6'5 sophomore transfer from Georgia. I'm sitting at 46% at the moment. It hasn't seemed to stop that offensive groove. Here's Horston trying to get back on track from behind the arc. There it is. Gibson, foots on the line, off the rim. Horston quickly. Three from Passat, no good. Tennessee can't go back to back. Running quickly the other way now is Godbull. What a finish. Great finish by Godbull to really attack the basket in transition. Coach Messer wants them to do that and get those offensive buckets through transition. Quick trigger, Justine Passat. She's got a smile after that. Passat, the 6 4 freshman, highly touted recruit. Making a difference here in quarter one. How about that for Godbolt and one? Coach Messer described her as the engine of their offensive tempo. Good head fake from Horston, mid-range no good. Passat swoops in for the board. Here's Passat again, lets one loose. It'll be Knight's ball. Last season they started out 19-1. Dealt with a lot of 
late injuries down the stretch, necessarily those pieces to carry them through to the finish line. This year, though, you go hard to the transfer portal. You bring back a lot of players. You return 10 from last year, four starters. Definitely. And she said, you know, with them having so much depth on the bench, it really allows them to compete and win these games. Defense from Walker. Godbolt trying to find space. Ranky, three-point specialist, knocked down. That was a great job by Godbolt penetrating inside and then kicking it out to her open teammate and Ranky to knock down the open three. The Knights are shooting 47% from the floor here in the first quarter. They've made their last three attempts. Tennessee will hold for the last shot of the quarter. Horston off the drive, kissing in. A buzzer beater from Horston to cap off a double-digit first 10 minutes. She has 11. And they're off to a great start so far in doing that. Six straight wins to open the season for the Knights. They've stumbled in their last two. They went on the road, lost to Auburn by 40 points. Passat again. Seven on the shot clock. Brown from the right corner, no good. Offensive board, the Knights out rebounding Tennessee 15 to 10 through the first quarter. Capitalize on this second chance opportunity. A little floater in the lane, no good. And it's a good rebounding team. 19 offensive rebound, rebound Sunday in their loss to Seton Hall, but they could only convert it into 12 second chance points. Forced it to the rim, making it look easy. And get fouled or and get to the line or easy two. Off the backboard. Stripling going up and underneath. What a finish for the sophomore. Great finish by Stripling. She did a reverse pivot, faced up, got a reverse layup. Great move. Seeing so much more confidence as well as the minutes are starting to come. The beginning of this six-game homestand, she played just five minutes against Colorado. Now she started her last three. And now you can see all that hard work paying off for her and then her position to step up. Walker off the mark from deep. Jewett fumbled it. Jasmine Powell picks it up and finishes. Here's Burns tangled up with Hollingshed. Gibson stuck in the corner, suffocating defense from the Lady Balls. Driving in. Gibson rolling in. Coming off a really good game on Sunday in the loss of Seton Hall, 15 points. Free throw line, Walker, yes. A significant pair of preseason injuries as they lost two really key players, Asia Todd, Morgan Robinson, Wagu, to injury. Torn ACL before the year even started. Two players who for sure were going to be significant contributors, if not starters. You lose those two already with the new team. Hey, won't stop. Let's keep going. We lost two in a row here. We're coming to Knoxville, a tough environment. Let's do the same thing. Walker's got four, two for three from the floor. And an offensive foul. Maya Burns put the shoulder on Powell. Seven turnovers for the, just one for the Lady Volunteers. They're coming off, off a win Sunday against Wright State, where Tennessee copped off a season low, a Kelly Harper era season low, nine turnovers. Powell step back three, yes. Everything falling for Tennessee here in the second. Entry pass, almost escapes the Knights' possession. Burns, nice move. Just fumbling it herself. Jewett, a three, no good. Another offensive rebound for the Knights. Back up, foul, and one opportunity. And Franklin, she jumped, ball fake, got up, got the layup. And again, if you can capitalize on those second chance points, that could be a momentum booster. Been a battle here from Knoxville in the first half, back in fourth. Powell, what a dish for Hollingshed. Great find by Powell. You see attacking the paint there. They've already got 20 inside the orange. Another offensive board for the Knights. 
Burns up on Passat, draws the contact. Free throw line shot, just 11 of 20. They really struggled, particularly in the first half. Here's Horston. Passat pulls up, jumper, yes! Pure Beautiful. shot from Passat, she's got eight. Under a minute left here in quarter number two. John Bull, free throw line, no good, too strong. Bucket, nice dish, Hollingshed contact. It's about, you know, the shifting of your speed. And right there, Hollingshed did a great job. Averaging four and a half points per game. Well over three rebounds, a contest really settling in. They've won two straight. Third would be their longest winning streak of the season. The Knights, though, they've been tough. They're coming off two losses and fighting here in Knoxville. Three from the right wing is good from Jew. Horston down to five, takes the three. Off the mark, offensive board, back up, no good from Kaya Wynn. Horst that she had the hot hand in the first half. Immediately to the paint, first play of this half to go right inside. Exactly. Going into the half, she wasn't happy with them settling for outside shots. Great job by Walker taking what she said in at halftime and getting the paint inside. Really fun lady ball tradition as Horston allows the patrons to have a seat. One thing that head coach Tia Messer said from her time with LSU last year. The Knights looking to get back in the wind column. They fought through first half. It's important to note on the other end for Tennessee, it's the third game in a row that they have been without one of their stars, Tamari Key. Tess Darby from distance. It's nothing like getting a three to get your confidence going. Mid-range in the Knights, their first points here in the third quarter. Puck it, why not? Yes, back-to-back -back three pointers for the Lady Balls. Fake from Gibson, three answer on the other end from Burns off the mark. Walker to the corner, puck it again. Three in a row, back to back, Sarah Buckets. A winning program. Greg Brown started here in Knoxville as a graduate assistant, worked his way up, was that assistant with Pat Summit for two seasons, two really good years in Knoxville. Right now, they're just gonna have to continue to stick to their game plan, which is attacking, rebounding, and transition. At one point in the loss to Seton Hall for UCF on Sunday in the third quarter, they were down by 15, were able to turn it back to six. Just ran out of gas there late. What a dish from Puckett, finds Stripling wide open. How did she see it? Man, good job by Stripling, staying in the play, getting the layup. That was impressive. Walker wants to run the break now. Solo drive, a foul is called before the ball flies away. That's just a straight up hustle play right here by Sarah Puckett. Saved it, inbounds, out of bounds, huh. I don't know. 17 Mississippi State, they host Nickel State Colonels at three Eastern, then Ole Miss hosting Temple. Ranky top of the key, no good. Tennessee extending that lead, it's grown to 13, largest of the night. Puckett inside had the height advantage. Blood clots in her lungs. She is expected to make a full recovery, but the senior will not be able to go the re remainder of this season. Just a really scary situation. But Jeff. Tennessee, certainly glad they were able to discover it when they did. You, you've played in just about every game of your career. You haven't missed but one. And now, unfortunately, you're, you're forced to miss the remainder of this season. A conversation forward to forward about maybe something that she saw on the court. And that's the important thing that Coach Harper is, has made this team aware of. You can allude as well. Key and Green last year for Tennessee, a forward 
she had to miss a, a, a remainder, a, a good chunk of that second half of the season. She was in that same role where she almost became a second coach, so she can have that as sort of a guideline to allude to in this situation. And, you know, you let, of course, when you're a coach, but when it comes from your teammate. And just three days away from tip-off tonight, 24 rebounds that tied a program record. You don't see 24 rebounds not getting her first minutes in this one until midway through the third. Here's Jackson, toss up the court, Suarez. Score a duo of Haley Jones and Cameron Brink. They welcome in the Lady Ball squad. They're playing a little bit more passive, not attacking like they were. They're settling a lot more for shots. Last one was ruled last touch on Tennessee, so not a turnover, but the Lady Vols are able to get it right back. Powell, hard drive in. For went into that locker room break, she wrote down on the whiteboard, she said no three-pointers. Differences for Tennessee are vital for them. That first half against Wright. Burns at the top of the key, working off the screen. Stifling D from Jasmine Powell. Jackson, left open, takes the jumper. Off to Mark Hollingshed, strong rebound, up and the foul. Thirteen rebounds for Tennessee in the quarter, and that's been a, a common stand. Tennessee, too strong. <laughs> Hollingshed, she's been doing a good job as of late to really contribute. So many depth pieces that coach Harper can work with the squad that was part of the discussion early in the season is you know what what's the best rotation to go with you have so many pieces what fits where Jackson for three she's got it her first points of the ball game turns off the mark Ranky off it's a board in the paint, Hardy going up on Jackson. Good finish. Great finish, Hardy. Just to be patient on the put back and create that offensive rebound. Sots pass somehow winds up for Suarez. We're good on the first try. Second one gets her two at the line. Did see 10 of 14 from the line tonight. They were playing that at shoot around yeah. today. They were playing some Christmas music. They don't want to stray away from that right now. Really nice drive from Brooklyn. Miles, a smooth kiss off the glass. Hardy inside, no good. Suarez rips it away. Suarez run the breakdown. Right on Gibson. Finish. It's a Tennessee team that historically they play a very tough schedule and they've never shied away. The Pat Summit days, they've always wanted to play the best of the best because Tennessee is one of the best programs. This game to, to their advantage and execute some of the schemes that they've been practicing because they really haven't had too much time. Kings and just really focus and understand that next time they play Stanford, they're going to have to show up. But not to say at all, Tennessee has underestimated this night's team. How about that pass right there? It's Kyle Wade can't finish or go to the line for two. Definitely can't. You, you know, she said, it's hard to say it, but. Can't get it to go on one end. Tennessee quickly back the other way. Here's Jackson. Post move, yes. Hard for Tennessee to get it in there. And Jackson, she missed two games prior to Sunday's win against Wright State. More than just 15 minutes. She has to play majority of the game. Fans chanting that they want Edie Darby. Edie Darby! Ask and you shall receive. Passat inside. Here's Jasmine Franklin. Great find. Kyle Wynn. Off the mark. Quickly the other way, Brown on Darby. Brooklyn Miles back in for Tennessee. Tied for 25th in the nation in terms of limiting their opponents' field goal percentage-wise. Definitely. And again, they have about 13 players that they're rotating. Tennessee has just really come out firing on all cylinders here in the second. Definitely. And if I'm Coach Messer, Messer I'm still excited about how they came out and competed. And just have that same energy. 
from speaking with her there before this game, you could tell that. Passat on a drive. They get settled in to the American Conference for one year, and then, oh, back to the Big 12. In many years with Baylor, many dominant years. In total, she won 14 Big 12 titles. Tiani Abrami, they've only turned the ball over six times. They set a Kelly Harper Tennessee record with nine on Sunday of taking care of the basketball. They get on the road to Stanford. Tennessee has been fantastic. 42 points in the paint. Kaya Wynn swoops in, a little interception right to the rim. Can't finish. Franklin, no. Couple more rebounding stats for Tennessee. Franklin's got about four on this possession. Passat, wow. <laughs> Tennessee to 99. They're one shy of the triple digit mark. A three on the other end. Good close from Tiani Abrams. It's her second. Shot clock is off here. Tennessee may not get to that coveted 100, but again, what an offensive performance it's been for Tennessee. 47% they shot from the floor. And they're going to win their third straight ball game, their longest winning streak of the year. Oh, they got to go for the 100 point. <laughs> the fans are calling for it. <laughs> they won't do it. They'll take it all the way down to the hole. One shy of 100. They didn't turn the ball over. They were getting out rebounded at the end of the first half. Well, in the second half, it was all Lady Balls, 48 to 35, that final mark.